Hey guys, Born to Lose here, and uh, this is kind of an update video. It's been a while since I've uh, done an update video, and a lot of things have changed in my life. Uh, people are out of my life who were not who I thought they were, which is probably a good thing when you think about that. Uh, career change, which is another big thing. If you're not happy with your career, you need to change it and always keep moving forward. And I continue to still do the things I love, you know, four-wheeling, shooting, camping, uh, hiking, um, I'm practicing my survival skills, and while, the, while those are practical, they're also very fun. So you should always be having fun, because this is not a dress rehearsal. But the purpose of this video is another big change, which is this guy you see right in front of you. You may remember I had a 2008 Jeep Wrangler JK. Well, while I love that truck, and I'll post a link of the walk around video for that up here, um, it had a lot of problems, it had a lot of issues in quality uh, control, uh, was just really horrendous on it and it became a headache because my bug out vehicle is my daily driver and It's just something I believe should be um, And so it became a hassle fixing it all the time So I traded in and got this guy here. Uh, this is what you're looking at as a 2011 trail teams edition FJ cruiser in army green and um, I had wanted one of these for a long time It's a better bug out vehicle for me because it's good on road and off road. I can fit more gear uh, camping stuff inside and uh, I recently did get to take it off road um, down at off road park about three hours from me and it really held its own I was very amazed how capable this vehicle is uh, stay tuned for a video of that but uh, I thought I would do a quick walk around as you can see I've already begun modifying the vehicle as I do with all my bug out vehicles um, like I said this is the trail teams in army green 2011 and what the trail teams means is it comes with a few things it comes with Toyota rock rails, it comes with blacked out mirrors and blacked out bumpers, it comes with a body colored roof as the other FJs come with a white roof uh, like the old FJ40 Land Cruisers, it comes with a blacked out bezel, it's also got a Bilstein suspension, a rear differential lock, a power outlet converter in the rear for a 115 volt power outlet and uh, it's got dash gauges on top of the dash, which I'll show you once we get inside the vehicle. But, uh, oh, and also it comes with BFG all-terrain tires, which uh, is a great compromise of a street tire um, and also good for the trail. It did come with a TRD edition wheels, which I don't have here. I opted to swap them out for Toyota steel wheels um, in order to give it kind of a more rugged look. Um, I really, I've always been a fan of steelies, you know, that debate will go on forever, which is better, steelies or uh, alloys, but uh, I have, have already started modding it. You can see up here in the front, I've already put on a Metal Tech uh, front bumper. This has a bash plate on the front, um, which is great. I mean, it's perfect on the trail, you know, rocks, there's a lot of rocky terrain where I live at, and uh, it protected the vehicle well from the time I did take it off road. Uh, eventually, I'd like to mount some uh, wireless lights in there. There are mounts for them, so that's on the docket. Um, I've installed uh, these Rugged Ridge headlight guards. These are actually from my Jeep, and I modified them to fit uh, the FJ. I'm going to move around here to the side of the vehicle now. On top, we've got um, the stock roof rack, but I also put in a drop-in basket from Baja Rack, and that's going to allow me to mount, uh, you know, a lot of camping gear. Um, I'm going to get some max tracks as well for recovery purposes. As you can see now, I've got Scepter water and gas cans mounted up there. I don't know if you could see that. Uh, five gallons each. And then on the front, I had Baja Rack uh, weld some tabs on, and I've got uh, four rigid dually D2 LED lights, and these things are just bright as hell. I mean, they make it look like daylight when you, when you turn them on at nighttime. They're a low power draw because they're LEDs. LEDs are just amazing. You know, perfect for uh, all you zombie guys when the zombies come, right? Um, back here, we've got a warrior shovel mount uh, up on the roof rack. I'm going to be putting an axe too uh, pretty soon, but I'll probably mount that on the back door interior. More mods to come. Got my Strider knife sticker, of course. The obligatory Strider knife sticker, all you guys on the forum have. And back here, if we come to the rear of the vehicle, we've got body armor tail light uh, guards, tail lamp guards there. 
they were actually a real bitch to install. You can see the trail team's badging on the rear here. There's also one on the dash. And this is a Boztech uh, CB antenna mount, and I've got a fire stick mounted to that. I carried over the same CB from the Jeep. Um, let's open the rear here. The thing I like about these FJs are the little things. You've got this little prop rod here, you can pull it, and now, uh, you know, this door will stay locked in. The wind can't blow it closed when you're unloading or loading gear. I've mounted uh, an MPAC rack, you can see right there. That's got all my recovery gear in it, and it's also got a mag light mounted there currently. I've got the snatch strap in there and recovery hooks in there. Uh, the FJ does come with these tie downs, cargo tie downs, and uh, the rubber trail team's mat. So I used a bungee cord to secure my uh, tool bag uh, in there. You know, I have pretty much everything I need to do trail side repairs in there. And this is a Smitty built gear shade, uh, gear shade that attaches to the spare tire. I don't have it mounted right now, but. Uh, it deploys and you can have a shade right on the trail. You can sit under the shade. If it rains, you've got uh, cover, so it's perfect. The trail teams also comes with the JBL sound system. You can see here that's a subwoofer. And everything is rubber lined in the FJ Cruiser. There's no carpet, um, which is something I never understood why they did on the Jeep, why they didn't do on the Jeep, rather. Um, I felt like, if anything, the Jeep should definitely have that. This is for Patrick Ma, buddy. Tad gear. Everybody knows how much I uh, really like their stuff. Quality, quality gear. So I had to show some representation there. <clears throat> I've swapped out the uh, stock antenna here again for a fire stick. Um, thanks to Nestor for hooking me up with the uh, conversion. That guy's just a wizard with fabbing stuff up for the FJ Cruiser, and uh, he hooked me up on that one. Now the FJ <clears throat> has like uh, suicide doors. So you open this one. Then you come here and you open the back, it's like a jump door. And you've got a big wide space there to get in, load up gear, whatever it is you want to do. Again, you can see rubber flooring throughout. In the front I've got the Husky mats, but they're Husky liners. I love them so much in the Jeep that uh, I decided to put them in the FJ as well. They really hold, you know, water, snow, anything, anything you can think of. Um, they're just a very rugged mat. Uh, but there's rubber under there as well. Trail team's badging again on the dash, guys. Turn this down a little bit. Um, this is where I mounted my Cobra 75W STCB. Uh, that again, like I said, I carried over from the Jeep. Uh, the green paint scheme continues on the interior. It's color keyed on uh, all FJ Cruisers, I believe, except for the most basic models. There's your center console. Over here I've got the MPAC saddle rack. This goes uh, all around the um, shifter bezel for the four-wheel drive shifter. We've got a go bag here and on the other side I have a flashlight mounted. These are the gauges I was telling you about uh, the Trail Teams comes with. Also it's an option package for other FJs. You've got an inclinometer, you've got your temperature, and then you've got a compass. Pretty cool, pretty neat. I had that inclinometer really tilted last weekend on the trail. It was awesome. And I've got an iPhone mount up here from ProClip. Uh, I love ProClip. They make really solid mounts, specific for your vehicle. You guys should check them out. So, yeah, I mean, that's pretty much uh, where I stand now with mods. Oh, there's one more. i got another little guy on the other side I didn't really think of. I'll close this side up. Uh, it's also got a rear backup camera here in the spare which is nice. I mean, the visibility out of the thing isn't the best in the rear, but to be honest, from what I read, and people made it sound a lot worse. It's not that hard and uh, to see out of in the back, and I got used to it very quickly. Now it's like it's not even an issue, you know. So here in the door, I've got level one first aid kit uh, from Springtail. Uh, it's pretty much got everything, you know, level one first aid kit should have, and I just put it, it's made to fit in this uh, side door here, and I just put it there because, you know, you always want that closest at hand when you're driving. So guys, just a little update to my life, and a uh, little update to, a, to, well, a new rig. It's a new rig, not really an update, it's a new rig, and uh, stay tuned, there's a lot more to come. 
I think uh, up next for this guy might be uh, a snorkel. Talk to you guys soon.